Hello everyone, welcome to another Fallout 76 mission walkthrough. So today I'm going to tell you how can you get the mission organic solution and how can you complete it. That's right, so you start here at this bunker and I got this mission a long time ago while doing early warnings, so quite a long time. And you need to enter um, Ella Ames bunker and you get the mission at the terminal there after you do a two sequence click so you go inside to the main bunker and in one of these little rooms you will find a terminal And all you have to do is to click two options. So first you go on research studies, then you click on rod shield and that's it. The mission will automatically start once you do these two um, clicks. You can explore the rest of the terminal if you want for lore purposes, but there's nothing else there. So, the first location we need to go is here, just um, outside the bunker, and we need to look for Ella's research, which is in this house here, at Southampton Estate. There are some glowing ants inside, at least for me. And you can find the research in a dead body upstairs. However, and once again, this mission bugged out for me. But that didn't really affect my ability to progress, as the next steps still appeared for me somehow. So I, I can say it was half bugged. There you go. Ella's research is in this body. And now you need to play the holotape. Just go to your inventory as usual and click on the holo part, then look for it. There we go, Ella's research. And now you need to click the first option, which will give you a mission update. You can also install radio tracking, which I'm not entirely sure what is it for because it didn't do anything for me i think it was bugged as well but maybe it wasn't here is just information about how you can get the ingredients and so on you can read it if you want but you are pretty much ready to move on to the next stage i activated the radio just to see what it did and it basically reads the radiation around you this because the bone meal is supposed to be radiated or irradiated but it was working okay because sometimes the radiation was going a bit up to 40 50 as you can see in here but i'm not sure why maybe because i was approaching something or the mobs I'm not entirely sure, but I didn't find anything when the numbers were high. I think the highest I got was 77 or something. But yeah, so I first thought this radio was going to lead um, towards something useful. I explored the entire circle where you have to search for the bone meal, but nothing was happening. So I decided to change my approach. By the way, there is a silo code in this area for those who are interested to launch a, mi a missile. It's a Charlie code. So I returned after doing some other missions and I decided to search for either a mob or something to pick up and I stumbled across this peculiar monster. Yes, a dead claw was here. 
And I found it very strange because I searched the entire place before, I didn't see any. So I assumed maybe the mission was related with this. And I wasn't so wrong. Even though the bone meal is not on him, or on the dead claw itself. As you can see from the loot, there's no bone meal. But there is something else that we need to get from his nest. Yes, the dead claws make nests in the world. And you need to look for one to loot the meal. For some reason they have bone meals there. I suppose they carry dead bodies and the bones stay there. I don't know, but it is there. So I was searching around, looking everywhere for, you know, a plant or an item hidden in the floor because it happens sometimes in these missions. And that's when I saw something strange. To realize how the radio changes, even though it's 0%, the beeps are different. Look, at the nest they are so fast. That's how I found the nest. <laughs> So I would have never guessed it was this. I thought it was, uh, this was simply an environmental thing, but figures it wasn't. All right, so once you pick the bone meal, you will get an update which leads you to a big factory, a bit to the south of where you are, there, with three uh, mission points. Because now the goal is to pick three different chemicals to produce something and it's in this giant building or agglomeration of buildings and it's filled with robots so be careful some of them are quite strong and they are in all the levels some are quite difficult to spot until they start shooting on you so I advise you to clean the place first before you look for the chemicals. These robo robot brains are very annoying. They keep throwing black smoke at you and reducing your visibility. And if you try to melee them, they will hit you quite hard. Plus they have tons of HP, it's very annoying to kill them, but it's something that you will have to do here. Anyway, let's move along to the first uh, chemical. To find it, you just have to go ahead, past the stairs. So right there. Just keep an eye for the mission icon in yellow and it's right there in this box and now you have two phosphorus and now we can move to the next chemical which will be the potassium now here I want to cut the footage so you can see where I went and what paths I took to get there. It's um, close by. You can exit from this door here. And potassium is outside of the buildings. It's in a container, like a trash, a big trash container, which is not trash, of course, it's just a um, storage thing for the facility so don't look inside the buildings because it is not there it's outside but first it is very convenient that you kill all these bastards hitting you because they will keep trying to hit you no matter where you go or where you try to hide 
even if they miss everything, they still try endlessly. So the chemical is right behind me. Here, and this box near the truck. And there you go, now we can get the final chemical, the nitrogen, and this one is inside the building at the very end of the compound. Also, you can get a fusion core here, which is always handy for your power suit. As I said, the final chemical is at the end of the compound, it is at the very north, as you can see. It's at the last building, at your left side if you are facing north. So as you can see, as I get close to it, the mission icon shows up. You can go to the first floor, take the stairs and you will find a box or a sort of container with the nitrogen. And there you go, you have the three components. Now you have to go back to the main building to deposit the chemicals and produce something required for the mission. I will also keep the footage here so you can see how to get there from the nitrogen point. If you are following this walkthrough closely, of course. And you have to go upstairs, okay? The machine to mix and produce things is up there. But first, don't forget to clean the robots if there are any left, which was my case. You need to take all these pads around it. There are some steam pack and boiled water in here, which is always very useful. Okay, so once you reach this machine, you access the terminal and you will realize that you need to make some selections, right? So load the holotape and put Alice's research on it. Then click Strangler feed. And then tracking bone meal. Now you can leave it and you can put the bone meal into the machine to your side. This one, the vertical one, the catalyst. Now select bone meal, put it. And now you can put all the chemicals in the left part. One by one, of course. Then you go back to the terminal and you can mix everything for an awesome creation. No, it's just a fertilizer actually. You will start getting mission updates and the next step is to flush, a bit obvious, but you need to wait for the mission to update slowly. And once it says you can flush, then you go back to the terminal or you can wait until it does. And that's it. You're done with this machine for now. I'm kidding, you're done with it. So now you need to find a strange flower. It's a glowing flower, actually. And it's in this circle that you see. I thought it would be quite difficult to find because it's a huge circle, but as soon as I got out of the building, look, there are three glowing flowers there. I was very intrigued and I decided to investigate. And... Hmm. 
That's exactly what they want from us. So you get your Strangler Bloom now and they ask you to create or craft a Rod Shield. Weird. <laughs> so I went back to my camp because I have a chemical bench there. You can do that too if you have one or you can head to any station that you know that there is a chemical bench. And then you go to healing. And then there's the rat shield recipe. Don't forget you need antiseptic, plastic and purified water to craft this. Which is quite easy to find in my opinion. And that's it. Your mission is completed. An organic solution is a bit intriguing to do, but overall I don't think there's much difficulty to it. And that's going to be all for me for now. Thanks for watching, I hope I could help you in any way. If so, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!